everybody and welcome to another video. Today I would like to present to you five websites that you can use to create your own color palettes. I'm going to start with Coolers. I don't know if I pronounced it uh, the correct way, but Coolers is a powerful tool to create multicolored schemes. I can simply lock a selected color and press spacebar to generate a new palette. You can modify or save your color scheme and uh, I think that the site has a really beautiful UI and I'm going to show you how to use it. You can click generate and then okay let it load up all right here I'm logged in and you can see the palettes that I have used. I can tab on a spacebar and create other color palettes and I think is that you can drag and drop these pick these let me change the color so it's more visible all right then you can um, alternate the, the shades and of course you can save you can give it a name export it or do whatever else you like. So now I'm going to continue with Color Wheel, which is from Adobe Color CC. I'm pretty sure that you're familiar with this site. It has been for it has been with us for a long time. You can create your color schemes from the color wheel, use your own existing images or browse thousands of color combinations in the explore section and um, I'm sure that you are familiar with creating here your own color schemes but maybe you didn't know about the explore sections that there are already here uh, some color palettes and you can choose whichever you like so you can create your own themes um, another thing that I really like is the create from image um, okay let's say that I have this one and here creating your own color schemes you can see the colors that I have used here so I really really like uh, the Adobe Color CC alright let's continue with Palita uh, it's an easy and fun way to create your own color palette using as many colors as you like so here I have three you can have three but they can be like a separate or four or even more here so you can play around change the colors and shapes here and you can find the color informations and uh, like you can build everywhere everything you like with Polyton I think it's a it's a super interesting website so now I'm going to continue with material design so this is a great tool to create, share and apply color palettes to your UI as well as measure the accessibility level of any color combination. So it's a great tool and it offers um, this extra thing that the other websites don't offer or at least I haven't found it. Uh, so here you have the instructions. You can pick a color. Let's say that I like uh, this one this is the primary color and as for the secondary color I'm going to choose uh, blue sorry this is primary this is secondary so let's hit um, this red color here and uh, you can click the arrows and see how everything looks and then you have the accessibility tab If you have this triangle, it means that it's not legible uh, for people that have some some color uh, problems, if I may say so. So I really love this, and you can also export it or um, make a link and you know send it to somebody else. So yes, it's a great tool. And as for Stylify Me, this is a little bit different. Um, I will give you an example or first let me say 
that uh, it was created in order to help designers quickly gain an overview of the style guide of a site, including colors, fonts, sizing, and spacing. This tool allows the designer to research sites efficiently without the need to inspect each element in order to be aware of current design trends and inform their own design decision. So, I'm going to click here, Twitter. And you will see the color, the colors that Twitter uses. Of course, it's the blue one. And uh, here, these are for the background, so it's blue. This quite purple, gray, almost black, and as for the text colors, we go to all these. And also, an extra thing here is the typography that it will say uh, what every website are using, like image dimensions and a lot of other things. So, yes. Thank you guys very very much for watching, if you like this video please share and subscribe and if you have any recommendations leave it in the comments below and I will check them 